so this suggestion that half of kids would have to leg it for the hills into the state sector. Uh, what's your first response to that? My first response, Ian, is that uh, we have uh, great public schools, private schools, and they are the sort of jewel in the crown, if you like. People from around the world send their kids to our yeah. private school because they know they're the best. And also our private schools are opening up in places like Abu Dhabi, you just mentioned, Singapore. They open up the schools abroad because they're so prestigious. So they're a success story. So basically, why are we damaging what is a success story? What we need to be doing, of course, is to raise in the level, the standards in, in state schools, which we can do. And uh, I think it's false economy anyway, because the government hasn't done its sums quite right. I don't. They're talking about over a billion pounds are going to be made uh, by the state sector from taxing or putting VAT on private school fees. But there's going to be a lot of youngsters, maybe uh, uh, several hundred thousand youngsters going from the private sector into state schools. So there's going to be more pressure on places in yeah, state schools. So we have to pay for those. So Where there's already a problem, economy. of course. It is. You know, this, this policy is a bit like throwing red meat to the sort of left-wing fanatics. They want somebody to get their teeth into it. It's, a good, yeah. it's, it's showy. It pleases certain factions in the Labour Party. Look, I'm not Labour or Tory. I'm not none of those things. I went to a secondary modern school for a while myself. I didn't go to private school, but I ended up as a head in a private school. So, so I split my life and my career between the two sorts of schools. There are great private schools. There are also some great uh, state schools. If I could give you one simple solution, I think I'd say bring back grammar schools and you wouldn't need many private schools there. And also bring back alongside grammar schools yeah. or more uh, we bring, uh, very good technical schools, vocational schools. So you need to improve the state sector. If you want to widen the gulf in our society, you make them more exclusive by doing what Labour's doing. Labour will only widen the gulf. So if you can afford to pay for Eaton's fees and you've got a lot of money, you're OK. If you're someone on a bursary or got just about making enough money to send your kids to private school, you're snookered. And you're going to go into the state schools and probably the places that are left with very many, and you're going to be feeling that you've got a really rough deal. So it's, yeah. it's an unhappy situation. Indeed. And, and you know uh, better than I, Chris, that not everybody that sends their kid to a private school is stinking rich. I, I say this, I give this example all the time. I've lost count of the amount of black cabs I've jumped into. And the driver has said, yep, I send my kids to private school. I do an extra X amount of hours per week just so I can do that. I'm not rich. I am a working man who has just decided that that's how I want my kid educated. We're not North Korea. It's my choice. Somebody like that would never be defined as being part of the super rich or the elite. And yet they're the very people that will also be penalised. Absolutely right. A lot of a lot of uh, people from poorer backgrounds are on bursaries. They get True. they get part of their fees paid. That's going to go. Um, and there was also we've got a problem here. In, where the Labour Party going to find its leaders from? You know, we've got leaders which are from private schools. They've got the, they, they send their own kids to private schools. You know, we've, we've had That's Tony true. Blair's a classic example. A lot of these, lot of, and, and even Keir Starmer was in a, a very selective school, private school, which went, or well, we went private in his time there. Yeah. Uh, you go back over history, a lot of these Labour politicians send their own kids to private school or were educated in private schools. Where are we going to get our Olympic team from? Where are we going to get our cricket team from? Because the, it's those private schools which do such an excellent job. We've got to improve state schools. And we're doing that a little bit, actually. They are getting a bit better. We've got to improve them and not worry about parents who pay twice. They pay their taxes and then they pay fees. And mm. as you say, a lot of people without a lot of money, they forego holidays. They're sacrificed to think they're going to get the best of their kids. I mean, there and is. The... I was just going to say, Chris, there is an argument, and a few people have made it, that there are some examples of this around the world, that actually the state should be subsidising private schools the very opposite to this because of course they are doing the government a favor in many respects by there's thousands of kids that are not utilizing the services of the state uh, that eases up an already pressurized system so a subsidy would make more uh, sort of intelligent sense than a tax yeah and that's serious policy because we can have what's called a voucher has been tried in one or two places you give a parent a voucher which has a certain amount of money attached to it. They can use it in the private sector or they can they can use it in the state sector. We need more private schools, not fewer. What we need most of all, though, are good schools and good, well-paid teachers. That's the, that's the answer to it all. And, and we can improve our education system. We look around the world and we find very good systems of education which started from a low base. Singapore, top of the world, but 50, 60 years ago, and it was a British colony, the majority of people there were illiterate and innumerate. Now it leads us by about four or five years. Yep. You know, so we can improve. And we, we've got to look higher than just penalising the so-called posh kids. They're not posh kids in most cases. They do a very, very good job. Mm. We should praise the private schools and support the state schools. There it is. Listen, Chris, thank you very much indeed.